In this video, I'm going to show you how to get cheats working in the SNES 9X emulator for your PC. I'm going to show you three methods of getting your cheats loaded. And make sure you stay around to the end because then I'm going to show you how to make your own cheats. If you can't find the cheat you're looking for, I'll show you how to make them yourself. Isn't that special? So without blabbing any longer, let's get started. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is open up our SNEX9 folder. I'm using version 1.62.3. There's some more folders since last time. Um, we can get into those um, probably another time, but let's go ahead and start our emulator. I'm gonna open a game and I'm gonna, I'm gonna quickly go to cheats. So let's see, well, actually let's go ahead and get into the level. We're gonna load a game. This is a backup of my physical copy, literally. I have an INL retro. So let's open that. Here we go, I'm gonna just get into the first level here. All right guys, the first thing we're gonna do is go into Game Genie Pro Action Replay Codes, and this method is very easy, like your mom. Anyway, I digress. Search the database, hit okay. This is gonna pull all of the cheats for the game you're playing based on the file name. And we'll, I'll show you in a second, I have another file name in there that's really messed up. It's a modded file and it, it's not gonna find them for that one. So that'll be a different method, but let's do, uh, let's see, infinite flying time, mega jump. Let's see what the mega jump does. We're gonna hit okay, then go to cheat, hit apply cheats, okay? Look at that, look at that, you can literally, jump over everybody oh whoops and i already died but you get you get the point okay if you want to go in you want to remove them all just remove all okay hit okay i'm gonna take off the apply cheats there so that's literally how the the first method works you just search the database and it'll find them for you okay now if there's one you know of that's not in the database let me show you the second method okay so let me pause this real quick and we're gonna go to gamehacking.org. These guys, they'll constantly come up with new stuff for games. They do pull requests. It's a great group of people and they are just passionate about, you know, modifying games and creating cheats, to be honest with you. So right here in the codes, go to Nintendo, go to Super Nintendo. Then we're gonna go to S for Super Mario World. And that will be Super M. Mm, okay, at the end of this one, Super Mario World USA. Look at all these codes. Let's get mm, invincibility mostly. We're gonna now. This is the second method is gonna be actually just copying the code. Okay, so we're gonna do Control C. We're gonna go back to our emulator. Go into cheat. Actually, let me just unpause it just in case. But go on the cheat, and you can enter your cheat code. Control V. And then invincibility. Invincibility. And you go add. So now we're going to add that. I'm going to check it. We can hit OK. Cheat. Apply cheats. All right. Let's go back in and see if this one works. This is straight from the website. Now this seems to have kind of, dis I don't know, disabled part of Mario's hitbox or something. I'm not sure how that works, but I tried it with the one in a database and it, it wasn't the same. The invincibility was the Starman power. And this one, you can just walk right through them. So you can find stuff from, let me pause this again. You can find stuff from uh, gamehacking.org that isn't in the database for SNES 9X. So that's method two, just entering it manually like that. Let's go back in the cheat here. I'll remove it again. Now this time, I will show you a different method. I'm gonna hit okay. <laughs> the cheat went off. All right, um, load game. I'm gonna get this, I was working on this the last video when I was showing you guys how to load games. Magical pop and translation English, and it also has the fast ROM. Fast ROMs basically fix the slowdown in old games, and there are people that are making definitive versions of SNES games. So 
This I just patched today with two patches. We'll get that open. This is Magical Pop, and it's a great game. It's better than Mario, to be honest. So now look what happens here. I go search database. Nothing. No matching game was found. And I want to keep my file name that way. So here's what I'm going to do. I am going to go to gamehacking.org. All right. We're going to go to M. And should be right, Magical Pop in Japan, right there. So what you can do is you can make a cheat file. So we're going to go down to SNES 9X 1.57 is the one. Um, all, we have all checked right here. And you can actually choose your file name if you want to. I know I'm going to have to change it. It doesn't matter. Um, so I'm going to hit download. And then I'm going to download that into the cheats folder right here. Now, here's what you got to do. Okay. Let me just exit out of that. In the cheat, in the ROMs folder, where I got this one right here, the actual ROM itself. I'm going to highlight it all. I'm going to pr uh, press Control C for copy. Then I'm going to go into cheats and I'm going to match the cheat name exactly to that. Okay. Right there. So now when we start the emulator, SNES 9X is going to pick up that there is a file in the cheats folder and it's going to match it to the ROM, the, the name of the ROM. Okay, so let's start this up. All right, let's just start the level here and we'll jump into the cheat menu. I am cutting some of these parts out to make this a little more intuitive of a video. So go to cheat, Game Genie, and it already found them in that folder. Okay. So I want this one, Jump Midair. This is a cool one. I was playing with it earlier. I also want uh, Infinite Health. So you have all magical attacks and can select any ability. Let's do that. Okay. Should be applied. There we go. I can just jump across the screen now. Whoops. I'm still, still getting beat. I have all types of, uh, all the powers of the game now. Whoops. Look at that, dude. Get all the magical powers of this game. Really cool. And this game is so awesome. You can see on the top there it has all the different, all the powers. So, all right, so that, that's the third method right now. So I'm going to actually, let's see. Let's remove this again. It'll clear out the folder, I believe. Let's actually check that. I believe that clears out the folder too. Whoops. Yep, it did. So that will clear that out. And now I'm gonna show you how you can make them from scratch. Okay, so let's go back into, let's see, recent games, Super Mario World, and I'm gonna show you how to do one from scratch, okay? All right, so what we're going to do in this one is I'm going to show you guys how to make a par code. All right. So first thing we're going to do for this, for the idea I had for this one, we're going to um, go collect some coins. I need, actually, I need a mushroom. Give me a mushroom. I don't need Yoshi. Come on. All right, we've got, what, 10 coins? I kind of want a weird number. So let me, let me get a couple more. All right, we have 13 coins, okay? We're gonna cheat, whoops, not that menu. Go cheat, search for new cheats, and here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do what's called a par code. We're gonna look for the number 13 in the ROM data, and here's, here's kinda how you do it, here's one method. Equal to an entered value, all right, signed. I'm gonna enter 13, okay? I'm going to search and find everything that has a current value of 13. I'm going to hit OK. Now, what I'll do, whoops. What I'll do is I'll con collect a couple more coins. Ah, I don't need Yoshi. All right. Now let's go back in. All right. Search for new cheats. Now we're going to put what well, we got, 16. Put 16 in there. Hit search. There 
is it was 13 and now it's 16. This is the address of what governs this right here, okay? We're gonna select that and hit add cheats. Well, I want the new value to be 99. I want every time I get a coin to add an extra life. So I'm gonna put 99 coins. Whoops. Hit the caps lock there. Coin. Oh, shit. I accidentally hit another button. I don't know how I exited out of that. But this is the right address there again. And we're going to put description 99 coins. I'm a terrible typer, by the way. And hit OK. All right. And we're going to hit OK. Now, in your cheat menu, you should have the 99, the 99 coins cheat. And it's apply, it should apply when we start here. There we go. So every time I get a new, uh, oh, I'll take that. Every time I get a coin now, it's just gonna give me one ups. Come on, let's find some more. Here we go, get a bunch here. Look at that. So how awesome is that? You can create your own cheat. I don't think that cheat is anywhere. Uh, maybe it is. Maybe they have a 99 coins cheat, but that's how you do it just, um, just by using that search cheats. Now, that's what's called a par code. I haven't gotten too much into uh, changing much else. The one thing I'll tell you, if you're starting to work on multiple things, you'll want to clear watches, which I think is just clearing the searches. But um, there it is. You created your own code. So now if you go over here to cheats, you created your own cheat file. Isn't that cool? You can actually do that with the SNES 9X emulator. So that being said, that's really all I got to show you. I don't think there's anything else in here. Cheats active. I don't I really don't know how this one works yet. If anybody has more information about how to do this part, I've been trying to find stuff online and I can't find much, but I have been toying with it all day and wanted to share the knowledge I've gained today. So thank you guys so much for watching. Please like my video comment. Uh, let me know. Let me know how, how it's working out with your emulator and I'll see ya next video. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you want to connect outside of YouTube, I do have a Twitter where I post video game stuff and top 10 lists as well as an Instagram where you can see my collection and pickups. I also have a TikTok. You can see Groot, Rocket, and Gamora, my Great Danes, and shorter videos. And I also have a Facebook page you can follow as well. So I look forward to connecting with you.